you may be seated we thank god for your faithfulness we thank god for those who have responded to the unusual things you know that god is doing god said behold i do a new thing oh my god my god my god god says in mark 7 13 it's a tradition to make the word of god of none effect but we thank god we thank god we thank god hallelujah we thank god tonight we just want to stick with what's happening right now in florida you know i wanted to go but the law would not release me you know i learned over the years as the lord you know raise up the move of god to try to listen to the lord amen and we thank god for the thanksgiving and the celebrations going on down there in the city the world revival city somebody give the world revival city a hand under god under god under god and they're actually having what they call a mega climax because not only are they having the climax of the great gathering but they're having the climax of the three years of daily revival consecutive so it's very appropriate as i'm going to be talking a little about daily revival arrival say amen somebody's a daily revival arrival somebody's a daily revival arrival my god my god my god my 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 the first thing to understand about daily revival arrival i'm going to be very very simple i'm going to tell you why daily revival i'm going to tell you what really it is i'm going to tell you where i'm going to tell you how and i'm going to tell you who and i'm going i'm going to tell you when that's like six parts why romans 9 28 somebody say why somebody's a daily revival why romans 9 28 he says and he will finish the work oh were we here this week when one man of god was preaching said get to the end get to the end this is the, this is the thing that many people struggle with is getting to the end Hear what some people do because they, they, they plan to leave their job and go on to a better job. For the, for the last two months before they go to the better job, they begin to show up late, go when they want, begin to misbehave on the job and be disrespect their boss and do all kind of things. And sometimes as soon as their time finish and they're ready to go to the next one, that opportunity leave. Are you there? Some folks get an opportunity, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it, to come to America from the little countries you know that's struggling and you know as soon as they discover that they are going to go for their visa oh they barely go to work stop go to work misbehave with their relatives and all kind of stuff come on and say i'm going to america come on some even have a party you know and when they when they go for the visa they don't get through and sometimes that's the reason why they don't get through because they have a bad behavior I hear there's somebody, glory to God. So people struggle to get to the end, struggle to get to the end in marriage. They struggle, they struggle, they struggle. I'm not talking about where the spouse giving problem. I'm talking about you trying your best. You're trying, you're doing everything to go to the end. Something went wrong, but you're doing everything to go to the end. That even if they end up leave, you are going to the end under God. Are you there? So we're talking about daily revival. So daily revival is, a, is, a, is an operation that God brought up, come on, to expedite. The revival to expedite his coming because the lord will not come until his people have come to the lord yeah come on he will not the bible says the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the lord as the waters cover the sea uh, many people will be coming to the lord so here is it why daily revival because if we go weekly it's not enough <laughs> even though we are faithful if we go monthly it's not enough even though we are faithful to it. If we go quarterly, it's not enough. Even though we are faithful, if we go yearly, it's not enough. We have got to go daily, daily, daily to expedite it. To Romans 9, 28, let me say it again. For he will finish the work and cut it short, to hear that word, in righteousness. Because a short work, oh my God, will the Lord make 
mm -hmm, upon the earth. Always remember, Lord God, God is doing a short work. He's, do, he's doing a quick work. So don't be upset when we're having three weeks of, 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 of prayer, fire, revival. And you're not upset I'm just speaking because I'm speaking to the world. Come on, somebody. Glory. Because it has to, to be done quickly. It has to be daily. Come on, somebody. So why? 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 Because God is doing a short work. And he's got to cut it short. He's got to finish the work. Come on, somebody. Somebody said daily revival. Why? Now what? Let me tell you what it is. What it is. What it is. Revelation 22, verse 12. Oh, no. Let me give you a different verse. Acts 20, verse 31. He said, Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, O oh my Lord, I cease not to warn everyone night and day. My God, he could not say weekly, he could not say monthly, he couldn't say yearly. He said night and day. In, in other words, he did it in the morning and did it in the night. When my wife and myself started to preach in Florida many, many years ago, nearly 40 years ago, we preached from morning till night. Ah, even when we came to New York and end up in Yonkers, because we started in Yonkers, we preached from morning until night. Come on, every day. Come on, 10 in the night we are in the room bars. Come on, 12 in the night. Come on, somebody. Why? Because it has got to be done quickly. You know, I'm going to give you another verse for why. Revelation 22, 12. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Wow. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So let's run back to what? 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 Hmm. <laughs> that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day. And that's what the brethren in Florida has done daily, daily, daily. Acts 5 verse 42. Hear this one. And daily in the temple and in every house. Oh my God. They cease not to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. Somebody say daily. Somebody say daily. Somebody say daily. Revival. My God. Arrival. So we talk about why. We talk about what. Then we talk about where. 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 Where will it be? Where will this thing happen? Where will this thing shake mankind? Come on. Where's going to happen? Is it in Mars? Come on. Is it in Africa? Is it in Jamaica? Is it in Philippines? Come on. Some folks, some countries think it's just their country going to get revival. Even some churches think it's just their church going to get revival. Some men of God think it's just them gonna, God going to use. Come on, somebody. Are you with me, somebody? So we want to know where. Hear it now. Habakkuk 2 and verse 14. He said, for the earth. My God. Somebody said the earth. <clears throat> For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. I quoted earlier, as the waters cover the sea, my God. Acts 19 and verse 10, he said, and this continued for the... Well, hear this verse, please, please hear this verse. He says, and this continued by the space of, th of two years, so that all they that dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord. Of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. There are many good people of all kind of operations, all kind of plan, but it's not to reach everybody. It's just to reach our people, to reach our language, to reach the amount of reach people by the amount of money we have. No, 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 no. It's the globe. If you're broke, it's the globe. If you're rich, it's the globe. If a church have money, it's the globe. If a church ain't got money, it's the globe. If you're black people only, it's the globe. If you're Indian people, it's the globe. Come on, somebody. Somebody said the globe. Are you with me, somebody? Hey, if you have a small amount of money and you try to just stick, okay, okay can't reach here and you can't do it because that's what happened to the disciples, the early disciples of Jesus. Jesus, huh? because they were Jews. Everything was about the Jews. Mm. Huh. And all they fast and pray, they just, they, they just could not go beyond the Jews. And what the Lord had to do, God tried to tell them, say, listen, you got to go beyond. And they would not hear. And that's why God raised up Paul. Say amen. Say amen. And when, uh, there's a reason why when Paul came, the Bible said Paul accomplished more than all of the disciples come total. All the disciples totally. Why? Is that only because Paul was great, but because there was a need for the Gentiles? Oh my God, come on. And they could not, they could not respond. <clears throat> That's why God said, I look for a man to stand in the gap. 
Come on, not to do the same thing everybody doing. Everybody have to Jews because they are Jews. And God had to raise up, come on, God had to raise up Paul <clears throat> to go beyond the Jews and go to the Gentiles. Well, watch this now, watch this now. It's the same way, it's the same way, you know, you know what's going on. Woman of God, let me tell you what's going on. The same way that the Jews alone could not get the job done and God had to raise up Paul. It's the same way men alone can't get the job done and God raising up women. You can't, you can't get around this. No matter which theological preacher wants to get around this, God is seeing that all the men are doing, all he's telling them to reach the world, all he's telling them, you, 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 the earth got to be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. They're not getting it. And God is raising up, oh, come on somebody, a Paul type of woman <laughs> to reach the rest of the world. Say amen say amen so we're talking about daily revival this thing is mm, this this daily revival that it, oh my god it's a dreadful thing just thinking about it it's just dreadful it's it's revolutionary my god to be preaching every day i believe we say something like yearly it's um revelatory and quarterly uh, i forget what we call that <laughs> It's recommended uh, uh, and monthly and we go down to weekly, but daily, but daily, but daily, but daily is revolutionary. And that's why women can rise up and preach because revolution time. Come on, somebody. Somebody said daily revival, arrival, and we already say why. Mm. Oh my God. We already say what? We already say where. Now, how, how is it going to be done? Ezra 9 and ver verse 8. Turn to it if you can. Ezra 9 and verse 8. My God, my God. Ezra 9 and verse 8. And here is it. It says, and now for a little space. You see? Time, we ain't got enough time. Time is short. And now for a little space, grace had been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant. Woo! Thank God for the remnant here in New York, my God, who, who have been in this mm, prayer fire revival. If, some of you I see every night through these three weeks, my God, of prayer revival. I praise God for you. Some not every night, but almost every night. But you can see you on fire. Some of you, you come, you, you could not come when you could not come. But when you come, you are here and you are here. And I'm telling you, the spirit of daily revival is upon you. I'm telling you, weekly ain't going to hold you. I'm telling you, come on, monthly ain't going to hold you. All the normal church ain't going to hold you. Are they going to have trouble, Bishop? Bishop, let me tell you, they're going to ask you for the key. Can I go? on Thursday night can I go on Saturday night you see right now after now Saturday night gonna be dreadful <laughs> Come on, I said, Sat come, because Saturday was the missing night, like how the Gentiles were the missing people. Saturday was the missing night, amen. I decree Saturday night in this headquarters gonna be on fire. My God, my God, my God, you don't know. Here's his point now. Some people think that if you bring out the, the people on Saturday night, then Sunday they're not gonna come out. That's a lie. That's a lie. Look at last week. Last week or here, Saturday night. Come on now. And Sunday was bigger than the Sunday before. Check it if you think I'm joking. Go, go check the videos. <laughs> come on. We're, come on. Some folks don't know about church. Come on. Don't let them tell you all the traditional stuff. We were here last week, Saturday night. Come on, somebody. Preaching and fellowshipping. My God. And singing and shouting. Say amen. Come on. And folks. Oh, uh, I have this to do. I have to get the clothes washed. But Sunday. <laughs> Sunday was bigger than the Sunday before. You have to understand. Oh, because daily revival time now. It has to be intensified come on somebody it has to reach the world it has to reach every man every woman every girl every boy every culture every color come on somebody somebody's a daily revival hmm. yeah. my god my god how oh, oh. come on let me let me finish the verse he said god has left us a remnant to escape and to give us a nail in his holy place that our god may light in our eyes this is this daily revival involve revelation come on somebody it it, it involves prophecy it involves hindsight and insight and foresight because my god it's too late harvest time harvest time the grains are falling 
the Savior's calling. Do not wait. It's growing late. Behold the fields are white. It's a vast time. Come on, church. Daily revival. How? Come on. He says he will lighten our eyes. Hear this. And give us a little reviving. A little reviving. That's what we're having right now. A little reviving. And once we are tested with the little reviving, God will take it to mankind. We are proven with the little reviving. We are proven for every moment, every opportunity we get, we are out in revival. My God. He say how? Then it continues in verse 9. Of Ezra chapter 9, he says, For we were born men, yet our heart, our God had not forsaken us. We were all sinners, that's what it means. Had not forsaken us in our bondage, but has extended mercy. None of us were qualified. <laughs> As I said, a mercy unto us. Sorry, in the sight of the kings, you I mean before the world. A person to give us a reviving, a reviving. So it go from little reviving to reviving. Is, is anybody there? Amen. Worldwide vision days are little reviving. Come on, somehow. But daily revival is the reviving. Say amen. Come on. You don't want to learn nothing. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. My God, we could spend time on going to that. But somebody said daily revival. Arrival. We already say why. We already say what? We already say where? We already say how? No, who? Who will be in daily revival? Am I involved? Romans 8 and verse 19. Let's see. Let's see who is. Let me see if, if it's only bishops. Ah, come on. Romans 8. Let me see if it's only bishops and patriarchs and archbishops and, <laughs> and prelates and evangelists. <laughs> My God, but who? Oh! Romans 8 and verse 28. If you, mm, Romans 8 and verse 19, rather. My God, if you know it, if you can get there, get there with me. Romans, mm, 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 mm. verse 19 of Romans 8. He said, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of who? The sons of God. The sons of God. Lift your hands if you're the sons of God. It means daughters too. John 1 and verse 12. He says, as many as receive him. Come on somebody. To them gave he what power. Help me church. To become the sons of God. Who will do daily revival? It's the sons of God. It's the daughters of God. As long as you are born of somebody. That means you are human. Come on somebody. My God daily revival is upon you. You are anointed for daily revival. You can do daily revival. Let nobody corner. Let nobody limit you. You can do daily revival. Somebody said daily revival. Arrival. Some, I'm, te I'm telling you, church, the revolution is here. I'm telling you. The revolution is here. My God, my God. Somebody said daily revival. Arrival. Joel 2, 28. Tell you more. You, you all know that. But in the last days, I'll pour up my spirit upon all flesh, all flesh. All flesh, all flesh. Come on, old men see visions. Uh, um, young men see visions. Old men dream dreams. And your sons and your daughters, their sons come. But now, those of you who say, why old saying daughters? Hear your daughters. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. In verse 19, I mean verse, uh, in verse 29, he said, even the handmaids, my God, will prophesy and teach and, and preach and evangelize and win the loss. And, oh my God. Somebody say amen. I'm almost finished, believe it or not. So much a daily revival arrival. Come on, we tell you why, what, where, when, who, when, when, when is it going to be? Come on, somebody, when? Is it, in, is it next 50 years? Is it the next generation? Turn it me to Habakkuk chapter 3. My God, Habakkuk chapter 3. And see if we can find out when. Come on, somebody. Habakkuk chapter 3. My God, my God, my God, my God. 
and see if he can find out. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 2. See if he can find out. My God, when is daily revival? When? When is it going to happen? When is this revolution going to happen? Here, here we go. Habakkuk 3 and verse 1. He said, Oh Lord, I heard thy speech and was afraid. Hear the bomb. Oh Lord, revive. Somebody daily revival. Come on, church, open your mouth. Somebody said, Daily revival. He said, Oh Lord, revive thy work. Hear me now, hear the bomb now. In the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, made known in wrath. Remember mercy. The midst of the years is very interesting. And if you hear some of those scholars from, you know, who've been to seminary, they try to explain to you the seven time periods. And that's what he's talking about. The seven time periods and this daily revival will be right on the edge of the mid time period i'm going to run it fast if i remember it those young men know it i don't remember but the first time period is called it's called eternity past the second one is called old testament age the third one is called new testament age or the church age the fourth one the fourth one the fourth one the fourth one is called the rapture the fifth one is called the tribulation the sixth one is called the millennium and the and the seventh one is called the perfect age but but notice the one in the middle the fourth one is called the rapture somebody said the rapture somebody said the rapture somebody say rapture lift your hand if you're ready for the rapture come on 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 put on your hand so here was god was saying that daily revival will be right at the rapture it will be right before the rapture in the midst of the years in the midst of the time periods oh my god my god my god daily revival revolution not gonna come in the tribulation the time we are gone it won't come in the millennium my god it won't my god my god it won't come in the perfect age or the age to come it's going to come and let nobody get around it we are right in there right now next before the rapture just before the rapture just before the rapture the, the, come on the earth gonna shake with revival my, you no matter how bad things look you no matter who backsliding you no matter who turn from god you no matter who who say you must have paid tithes you no matter who turn against the church come on my god daily revival is here daily revival is here daily revival is here no matter who's weak no matter who's sick no matter who's down my god man they, that's why it's called revive that's why it's called revive that's why it's called revival no matter how low you are no matter your condition even if you backslide it fits but <laughs> god knows how to do things that's why he give up on nobody. Come on, somebody. Because it's daily revival time. Somebody gonna get up from the my get up from the grave. My God. Let me give you one more scripture and let you go. Somebody say daily revival. Somebody say daily revival. Hosea 6, verse 2. My God. My God. Hosea 6, verse 2. Is we, we, we still saying when? We still talk about when. My God. My God, Jesus, hear the verse, hear the verse, verse 2, it says, after two days, what, what, what is this stuff doing in the Bible? After two days, will he revive us? Somebody said daily revival, somebody said daily revival, somebody, remember the Bible says one day with the Lord, is just a thousand years, anybody remember that scripture? Say amen, say amen, my God, so, so one day mean a thousand years, am I right? So God said, after two days, how much years is that? Two thousand years. What kind of Bible is this? What kind of Bible is this? Come on, written so many thousand years ago. Come on, say amen. Come on. He said, after two years, after two, I mean, after two thousand years, after two days, my God, after two thousand years, will he revive us? Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. We are right there now. We are right there now. I could go in more details of the verse, but we can leave out. We are right there now. Come on, somebody. My God. Right there now. We're right there. Come on, somebody. He says, in the third day, he'll raise us up. That's the rapture. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Come on. We're right. Let nobody get around you. Let no church in their confusion try to get around you. 
and bring their stuff, my God, to lock you down and to limit you. It's revival time. That's why Harvest Army is like this. That's why Harvest Army is not crazy. Come on, we always say it's crazy. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. That's why Harvest Army got it together. That's why Harvest Army, my God, oh my God, my God, desire order, my God. Because in God's order, in God's order is revival time. Somebody said daily revival. Somebody said daily revival. Somebody said daily revival. Arrival. Oh my God. Can we draw to the altar? Come on and let this come upon you. Let this come upon you. We're not going to be long. I have a lot of time left. My God. Come on. Let's draw to the altar. I'm going to let you go in one minute. My God. Daily revival arrival. My God. We are, oh my, we are joining with those in Florida and other places. Many years ago, my 30 years ago, God gave us a word called root out. Spread out. And preach out. I don't see what has happened. My God. In this mother church. My God. Come on. Some have been rooted out. Amen. Come on. Some, some who are plain, dirty pot have been rooted out. My God. My God. My God. Some have been rooted out. I'm not talking about sent out. <laughs> I'm not talking about expansion. Some have been rooted out because they will never settle down with God. I'm not talking about perfect, looking for perfect people because there's no perfect people. Come on, but someone not settle down and, 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 and cause God and, and let God sanctify them. Come on, somebody. And they have to go on. They have to come on, somebody. Glory to God. Somebody said daily revival. But the word did not only say root out. That sermon, my God, my God, over 30 years, it did not only say root out. It says spread out. <laughs> God, man. he says, spread out. Come on. So after 2001, when they when they hit the, the World Trade Center and they stopped building buildings high and stopped making the airports high and spread them out, we were already spreading out. They don't know nothing about spread out. Harvest, I'm going to spread out my God and spread out across the world, spread out across state, spread out my God. We just, we just begin to spread out again to Manhattan. Come on, somebody. And we saw here spread out, my God, to Long Island. And spread out, oh my God, have mercy. Come on, spread out to upstate. Spread out to Connecticut. Spread out, come on, somebody. And the last part of the sermon is to preach out. That's what's going on. Look at, look at us right now at the mother church, at headquarters, and our children are right down there. My God, this is the most northern state. And the most the most southerly state are now down in Florida. My God, my God, my God, my God. Thank giving, thanksgiving. My God. My God. And celebrating. My God. This milestone. My God. Of daily revival. Why is it happening just before the rapture? Why is it happening now? Listen, church. Let nobody steal this from you. Let nobody take this legacy from you. My God. Let nobody take this birthright from you. Because you are in the right time. And you are spread out. No plane can tear down World Trade Center in the move of God. Come on, we are spread out. When they want to take from one church, they're late. I know you didn't get that. You get the revelation later on. Come on. When they're trying to take from one church, it's spread out already. So they're only taking a fraction of a fraction. Amen. You see, come on. You ask me to take people who want to work with me. You didn't get that one. Did you hear what I said? We saw spread out. Minister, we saw spread out. That some people have a little ambition and say, you know, I'm going to take a few. Come on. We divided already. We spread out already. So what you get is a little bit. Come on, we already spread out like 1,000. Yes. So when you're going to take from one church, you get a fraction of the 1,000. Come on, yes. come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. That's arithmetic. Yes. That's a fraction. Yes. Yes. That's taken from a fraction. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. But we in prayer. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your mighty hand. We thank you for your mighty word. We thank you, Lord, for your mighty people. We thank you, Lord, for the remnants. We thank you, Lord, for the daily revival people. My God, one day I'm going to preach a sermon on daily revival people. 
We thank you for them, Lord. And we pray, God, as we work together with those in Florida, those in Georgia, those in New Jersey, my God, those in North Carolina, South Carolina, those in Pennsylvania, here in America, those in Jamaica, those in Haiti, those in Dominican Republic, Lord, those in Brazil, those in, in, in Europe, my God, those in UK, my God, those in Israel, those in Philippines, those in Australia, my God, my God, all over, those in Africa, those in South America, all over the world, God. I pray, God, 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 as we come together, can you say one chase a thousand and two chase ten? Uh, to, to chase 10,000 I pray God my God my God my God that this daily revival revolution will take us over my God it will be thousands of Pauls my God my God it will be millions of Pauls that rise up on the earth because the time is right the time is now and the anointing is here the fire is here Lord we receive it the daily revival fire my god my god in the name of jesus somebody give the lord praise somebody give the lord praise i'm gonna lay my hand on any one of you anyone i lay my hand on you're gonna be in trouble you're gonna be preaching every day till jesus come receive you right now young man you're gonna preach every day till jesus come my god in every day till jesus come my god my god who else want to be there every day I want you know, I still gonna preach every day till Jesus come. You're gonna preach every day till Jesus come. My God, my God. I will think you can it's up on you. Come on, somebody, every day till Jesus come. Daily revival arrival. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Daily revival arrival. In the name of Jesus. Say amen, church.